Hello everybody. Now I'm here with um, my best friend Dee Dee. Hello, that's me. I'm Dee Dee. Hello, and um, actually we're both psychics. It's quite weird actually. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite strange actually, um, but it's true. We are both psychics, and we <laughs> are both quite sexy. I don't know. Well, I think you're sexier than me, I, but yeah. me and Robbie, we like to have sex, so we're sexy too, I guess. Uh, right. Well, you're right in one thing, in that um, actually I am sexier than you. Uh, but listen up, um, although I'd love to talk about how sexy I am, let's introduce like, how, we, how we became to discover we were psychic. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Dee Dee and I am psychic. I became psychic. Well, I think I was sat on the bus and then this man sat next to me and I could feel this eternal loss within wow. him. And That's like crazy. I just sat there and I tapped him on the leg and I said, excuse me, sir, are you okay? And he said, oh, no, Lassie, I'm not okay. And then I said... Well, why not? Have you got lost? I can feel it. I can sense it within right. you. Yes, yes. And then he said, Oh, yes, Lassie, I lost my dog today. And then I said, Oh, my God, that's really horrible. What was mm. your dog's name? And then mm. I said, Oh, dear, was mm. your dog's name Debbie? Mm. And he said, Oh, my God, yes, mm. it was called Debbie. Mm. And then from then on, I just knew. Mm. I knew I could feel things within mm. people. He thanked me after that because he said he just needed someone to just tap him on the leg and say, I hope Debbie's all right. Sometimes, you know, do you know what? It, it, it takes a while to discover your psychic being, doesn't it? And it's just the tiniest things that send it off, Yeah, it? I, did, I just yes. woke up that day and something within me just went, oh, Dee Dee, you can do it! Yeah, that's and it. And then I've never looked back ever since. Never and looked back. There's been a million Debbies. So, a million Debbies that are psychic. Well, no, I didn't mean a million Debbies, right, literally. Right. I meant, like, there's been a million times when I've sat there and I've thought, I can feel your pain. That was actually such an empowering story, Dee Dee. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Sabrina. Yes, all right, that's all right. Um, I've actually got a really empowering story of my own about how I became psychic. Um, I was actually away on a yoga retreat. Um, I just split up from my first husband. Well, he did split up, he died um, under really suspicious circumstances. And then um, I decided to take myself away to India to take on a yoga retreat. Um, and uh, what ended up happening, actually, I was taught by a man named Monk. And um, Monk told me to get into the dog position. I was down and all fours and suddenly he came with his finger. And it slipped straight up my ass. It went straight up my ass, and he gave me the light. I genuinely believe in that moment. Actually, he was passing me a gift, the gift of spirituality that he had been born with, and it went straight up that hole, straight into that intestine. And from that moment on, I could feel the spirits, and it was absolutely amazing. Honestly, the first person I saw out there was Gandhi. He came to me in a vision. I was naked, laying on my back at the time, and he came to me and he said, "Make love." Not war. It was a very spiritual experience. And actually, um, it's something I've practised ever since. It's um, sex with ghosts. Here we are. Um, look, we're going to contact some spirits for all of you. And actually, for our first episode, we thought that we would contact some dead celebrities. 
yes, we'll try, won't yeah. we, anyway? Because they, they don't always come through. It's it's a bit of give and take, a bit of tug of war. Uh, you've just got to kind of see what happens and see who anyone do. comes forward. You do. That is so correct, actually, Didi. Thank you very much. Well, yes, it's yes. part of the job, isn't it? It no, is, it is. Knowing your craft. Knowing yeah. your craft, knowing your craft. But d tell you what, actually, we are actually going to start. Okay. Well, you know, since we've been sat here, I have felt a weird little twinge in me. There is, there's some certain things that are coming, coming to light. There's... Such as what, Dee Dee? Well, Tell us all. Come on. I can sense some quite, some quite large, round, balloonish mm. and slight sore breasts. Mm. Um, describe, describe what you mean by sore, please. Well, they just feel a bit bruised on the top. Right. So it's like they've been laid down on their front and they've been squished down because they've been laying down on the front. And right. they've been a bit elongated because they've been laying on them for so long that they've kind of stretched so that the nipples are Hang facing on a second. down. Hang on a second, actually, Dee Dee. I don't mean to stop you in the middle of your flow, but actually, I think you're talking about me. Um, I mean, I know I've got large breasts, right? And um, actually, to be honest, uh, Dee Dee and I have had a little bit of a fumble before. She knows how big they are. Um, and at the moment, they are pointing to the floor because I was on a sunbed earlier. I knew that something was new about you. I can feel it within me. I'm psychic. I'm not a nipple tweezer. How about you? Shut up. I apologise. I apologise that my psychic got caught up in your nipple dramatics. I'm not an acrobat. I'm a psychic, OK? Right, Dee Dee, just settle down. The problem is, everybody, is actually I, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, I get my fair share. I get my fair share of romances and men to my bedroom. And Dee Dee um, has often felt... Like, she's, she's had a crush on me and she cannot stop thinking about my tits. I have invited you over many times. Me and Robbie were very open with our relationship. Right. We do have a nice time when we go That's to the singles true. mixers. We try and pick up a few nice ladies and gentlemen. Robbie doesn't mind. A little cock up his ass either. It's fine. But, you know, you're just one of those bags I've never been able to, to scratch. <laughs> Right, close your eyes. Right now I want you to really think, really think deep hard into your soul as to what makes you psychic. Let's put that spiritual out. Yes. Let's call them. Let's call the yes. spirit. Oh, oh, oh. I feel him. I feel him inside me. Ah. He's here. Oh. All I can feel is, is bold. Bold. All I can hear is bold, the words bold, 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 bold. bold. I don't know what that means. Bold, can you hear me? Can you hear me, bold? It's all I know. Gary it's Baldy. It? No, he's screaming my name. Hello. He's screaming my goddamn name. Sabrina. And he's screaming it loud and clear and he's saying bold, bold, bold. I, I mean, got a bald eagle the other day, actually. Maybe it's me. Okay. Um, so, bald... Oh, am I looking for a bald head? Do you have a bald head? He's saying, bald balls. Bald balls, Sabrina. Bald balls. Bald balls. Bald balls. He loves it. He loves bald balls. On the Christmas tree? No, not bald balls, Dee Dee. He likes the bald balls. He likes those balls that have no hair. They are but stripped of pubes. His name is Michael. Oh. Yes, yes, his name is Michael. And actually, he's saying to me, he's a singer. He's a singer and his famous song is called Billie Jean. He's not my lover. She's just a girl who says that I am the one. That's the whole song title, is it? Yes, that is the whole song title, oh. I believe, yes. And he's holding a little girl's hand. And she's saying, Mummy, Mummy, please. And I'm saying... Come to me, little girl, come to me. Bring her closer, Michael. Bring her closer. What's her name? What's her darling little name? She says her name is Madeline. Madeline, are you there, Madeline? 
I'm sorry, Zizi. I just got chills down my spine. I just got chills down my spine. He's holding her hand and she's waving and she's saying, Mummy, Mummy, fuck you, Mummy. Oh. What does that mean? We need something more, Madeline. Give me, give me more. Give me more. She's giving me something else. Pride de Luge. Pardon? Pride de Luge. Pride de Luge. Pride in where? De Luge. I'm not quite sure where she needs, but it's pride in deluge. That's all she's given me, actually, Dee Dee. That's all she's given me. She's saying, Fuck you, mummy, pride deluge. Oh my god, you felt it too. I was repeating you, Sabrina. Sorry. Yes, yes, I, yes, didn't she feel was. A, I didn't feel a thing. She is saying, Fuck you, mummy. Fuck you, mummy. Fuck you. I wonder who this girl is to want to fuck her mummy. I have no bloody idea. I have no bloody idea. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Maybe uh, she means. The middle finger. Well, I don't know. I mean, I have a very close relationship with my mum. Occasionally I slip her a finger or two. Well, you know, family is family. And, and that's okay. But this girl is four and I was about eight. So I feel like she hasn't grown into those sheep yet. So, um, Madeline, Madeline, is that what you wanted to say, Madeline? That's all she wanted to say, There's actually. nothing more. He's actually got her by the hand and he's leading her backwards. She's waving and he's leading her backwards um, into a place called Neverland. And I am told this is where all the children of heaven go to sleep. In one giant bed, actually. Um, and I'd like to wish you all sweet dreams. And thank you for coming down to me today. That was an experience for me. Well, it always is, isn't it? It's really taken it out of me, actually. Has it? Would you like a pillow? Yes. Would please. you like a cushion? Yes, please. People say I've got more cushion for the pushing if you'd like a lay down. Oh, it was special, wasn't it? It was, very it was special. bloody special. And um, Dee Dee, actually, do you know what I see? Your your arms they are the hair is standing up on end they are i am a very hairy woman sabrina you yes. know what they say and do you know the what more hair the more mare uh, that's it that's what, exactly what my mum used to tell me actually yeah. and do you know what i've asked well i i did want you to kind of put it on a bra before we started because you know we shouldn't be unprofessional but the hairs on the ends of your nipples are actually standing up as well um that is honestly, quite honestly, quite something to behold. I am sorry, Sabrina, they're actually not hairs. My nipples are just a little bit longer than normal because I keep um, letting Robbie suckle on them. That is honestly quite amazing. I think it takes a lot of a woman to not just breastfeed her child or her dogs, but to also breastfeed her husband. And do you know what? Your nipples may be thin and they may be long, but they are never broken. They are precious. As they are standing up on end, I get the feeling you have a psychic sense. I do feel it. I feel it in the room. What do you feel? What do you feel? I feel it. I've got it. It's an M. It's a M. We've got another M. Much like the Madeline. Madeline Michael. And we've got another M. It's very strong on the M and the alphabet today. I think... It's a woman. A woman. I can feel. I can feel. Mm, 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 some Sorry. majestical, magical movement of the mm, hips, mm, and they can stand mm, and they can sway, and they're mm, swaying at me and they're going, oh yeah, oh I'm sexy. I can act and I can sing. I can feel it coming. There's something coming. Happy birthday to you. It's not my birthday, actually. Happy oh. birthday to Ooh. you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's taken over. Happy
house. Right, I'm sorry. She's gone. Can you shut up for one goddamn picking minute, right? I'm sorry, that was incredibly selfish. I'm exhausted. That was incredibly selfish. The podcast is not all about you. You don't have to sing a song, right? You don't have to sing a song in my presence. I feel like you are objectifying me. But right? it wasn't me. Well, who bloody was it then? It was the m- taking over me. M- well, what, well, what's her name? Go on. I didn't get a name. All I got was one bit of advice. What was it? She said... Always wear knickers on a windy day. Well, thank you, Dee Dee. That, anyway, concludes our first episode. (laughs) Next week, we will be going to a haunted British pub in Brighton. I have always, always, always wanted to go to Brighton. You see, I haven't. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't really like gay people. But perhaps I will be proven wrong in the city of Brighton. I think you will. My second cousin is gay and he's the delight. And he sat me down one Christmas mm. and then he said to me, Dee Dee... You are a fashion icon. Right. My friends will absolutely love it if you came out with us one night. He thinks I'm such a hoot. That's lovely. I mean, the thing is, right, is, um, I mean, you know, I have a very complicated relationship with my mother and she's really quite homophobic. And um, actually, it was one time she was... um, Telling me that um, being gay is a sin. This was why she, she had her little toe up my ass. Well, I'm sorry, Sabrina. If being gay is a sin for having something up your ass, then why did the monk from the yoga retreat shove his finger right up there to give you your psychic powers? I would not say that was a sin. I would say that's a celebration. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on all available platforms and we will see you soon. See you next week for... Sexy Psyche.